My whole family had been in the military for years. Bill Buford was born to serve his country. When the Vietnam War picked up, Buford was on a football scholarship at the University of Kansas. Back then, Kansas had a pretty good football team. Dale Sayers is a marked man for the Jayhawkers. He left the Jayhawks to join the Army. If I don't go now, I might miss out on it. How naive can you be? In 1963, he went through Special Forces training, becoming a Green Beret. And two short years after catching passes at Kansas, he caught a flight to Vietnam. War wasn't fun. I've been shot six times. The fact that Bill Buford is alive is almost a miracle. Got some stuff in here. He showed us around a room. My man cave. Filled with things that should have killed him. An arrow. The Australian I was with clubbed him in the back of the head and I kept the crossbow. Shrapnel. That's the one that got me. And perhaps the most shocking of all. Guy popped up out of a spider hole, aimed a French rifle at me and pulled the trigger an improperly loaded bullet that misfired. So I guess God was looking out for me for that day. After a year of combat and close calls, Buford returned home. He joined the ATF, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. And then came February 28, 1993. I don't think a day has gone by in 26 years where I don't think about that particular day. Less than 24 hours later, he'd be dead, he'd be dead, he'd be dead. The ATF was serving a warrant at the Branch Davidian compound in Waco, Texas, searching for illegal weapons and explosives. But the Davidians had been tipped off. When they first started shooting at us, you know, this is like being back in Vietnam again. Severely outgunned, Buford and his team climbed onto the roof. Buford tossed a flashbang into the armory room and then stepped inside. There was a guy inside the room there with an AK-47. Buford eliminated that threat. Then they started shooting through the floor, and the first round that hit me hit me right square in the butt. Two rounds hit me, one hit me in the hip, and one hit me in the upper thigh. He jumped out of the window, rolled off the roof, and then was shot again. That's when former North Little Rock officer Ken Chisholm made a decision. He just jumped on top of me and covered me up. I asked him later, I said, Ken, I said, why'd you do that? I said, you know, they were shooting at you too. He said, man, I just wasn't gonna let them shoot you anymore. He stays on my Christmas list. <laughs> Today, Buford lives a quieter life. After retiring from the ATF, he formed the Arkansas State Police Bomb Squad and now uses his experience to teach officers how to stay in the fight no matter how badly they've been hurt. Hopefully get them home at night. That's the most important thing.